Superstars! My name is Miss Sieber. This is my virtual classroom and welcome to Superstar Parking. So today I have something really fun in store and it might make you a little hungry. But before we begin, everybody knows the rules. So take your right hand, put it inside your imaginary backpack, pull out your math thinking cap, put it on, turn it on, kiss your brain, and if you have an apron, you might want to put on your imaginary apron too and tie it on so that way you don't get a little messy today. Before I introduce my special guest, I know that we have been talking about area. Hmm. Remember, area is the inside of a shape. So today we are going to be looking at one big object, separating it, figuring out both of their areas, and then figuring out the whole objects area altogether. So before we introduce my special guest, let's take a look at the tasty treats that he baked for us. So here are the tasty treats that we are going to be working with today. As you can see, this is my object that we are working with today. All right, superstars, without further ado, meet my special guest today, Johnny the Baker. Yay! Hey, Johnny, how are you? I'm great. How you doing, Miss Sieber? Good. Are you excited to do some math? Oh, I'm so excited. All right, let's do it. All right, guys, so today we are going to be doing math with my baker, Mr. Johnny. Oh, wait, Mr. Johnny, you might have to duck for this one. There you go. <laughs> nice apron. I like oh. it. Where'd you get it from? Um, it's actually made in Hawaii. Um, I got it from Miss Audrey Sieber. Very oh. kind woman. Thank you, Audrey. We love Miss Audrey. All right, Mr. Johnny. So before we begin, do you know what area is? Um, Wait, you got to duck down oh, a little bit. Area is the inside of the shape. Wonderful. So Mr. Johnny, we are going to be looking at an object today. We are going to be finding the area of two combined rectangles. Do you think you can do it? I can do it, Miss Sieber. All right. Air high five. Kiss your brain. And let's go. All right, so today we are going to be finding the area of combined rectangles. So let's take a look at the object that we are working with today that Mr. Johnny so kindly baked for us. All right, Mr. Johnny, do you see my shape? I see them. Okay, on the board, I wrote my steps. So let's take a look at how we are going to find the area of my object. Step number one, we need to break apart the rectangles. All right, Mr. Johnny, so you need to break apart these two rectangles. So we have two choices. We can break them apart vertically or horizontally. So which way do you think we should do it? Vertically or horizontally? Hmm, I think we could do it vertically, split it in half right here, so we could have one rectangle and then two rectangles. All right, Mr. Johnny, I like your thinking, so break them apart. So we are breaking it apart vertically, so that way we have two rectangles. Now that we have two different rectangles, we are going to give them a little bit of a name. So my blue is going to be rectangle number one. And my green is going to be rectangle number two. two. Let's look at the next step that we need to do in order to find the area of this object. Step number two. We need to find the area of shape number one. So Mr. Johnny, this is shape number one. So you need to count every single one of these units to find the area. So one cupcake equals one unit. Are you ready? I'm ready. All right, Mr. Johnny, count the area of my first rectangle. Got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So what is the area of rectangle number one? Twelve. Twelve what? Units. Oh! High five, good job, he's smart. All right, so let's plug it into my equation. So for step number two, we had to find the area of rectangle number one, and it equaled 12 units. Well, 11 now, Johnny just ate one. What? <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> you better not be eating my cupcakes, man. Step number three, we now need to find the area of rectangle number two. Let's take a look at Mr. Johnny and have him count up my area. All right, Mr. Johnny, you did a great job finding the area of my first rectangle, so can you find the area of my second rectangle? Absolutely. Now, before you do, one cupcake equals... One unit. Thank you. Good job. All right, count away. One, two, three, four, five, six. So the area of my second rectangle is... Six. Six what? Six units or six cupcake units, right? Yeah. I'm getting a little hungry. I don't know about you. Let's plug it into my equation. So the area of my second rectangle was six units. Now, Mr. Johnny, before we do my last step, which is the most important step, let's see if Mr. Johnny knows his math. Why did we count the inside and not the outside of my rectangles? Because we're looking for the area, Miss Sieber. If we did the outside, it would just be the perimeter. 
Oh, so we counted the inside because area equals the inside. And Mr. Johnny, why did we break apart my object? Uh, Miss Siebert, it just made more sense to me to break them apart and count each individual rectangle and then add them together at the end. That first object was a little overwhelming, right? Yeah, yeah, too much to count. Are you ready to finish this problem? I'm ready. All right, let's do it. Let's take a look at my last step. Step number four, we now need to add the area of rectangle number one and rectangle number two to figure out the total area of my shape. I don't know about you guys, but I think Mr. Johnny has done an amazing job so far. So Mr. Johnny, would you like to do our last step? Absolutely, I'd be honored. Here you go, Mr. Johnny. So now we need to add the area of rectangle number one with rectangle number two. So we know the area of rectangle number one was how many units? 12 units. And the area of my second rectangle was? Six units. So when we add them together, what does it equal? 18 units. Hmm, Mr. Johnny, should we uh, double check and plug it into our equation? Yes, we should. All right, plug it in. All right, superstars. So for my first rectangle, we had 12 cupcakes or 12 units. So we're gonna plug that in to our first part of the equation right here. And for my second part of the equation, we had six in this rectangle right here, six cupcakes or six units. So that's gonna be in the second part of our equation right here. So when we add these two areas of the rectangles together, in total, we get 18 cupcakes or 18 units. All this cupcake talk is making me really hungry. I think I'm gonna have 18 units in my belly soon if you know what I'm saying. And while I have the floor, drop a comment down below if you guys think that I should take over the channel instead of Miss Siebert. I won't tell, don't worry. All right, Mr. Johnny, I don't know about you, but my brain is tired from all of this math and I'm kind of hungry, so is it time to eat a snack? I think so, Miss Siebert. All right, before we leave, I would like everybody to give their brains a nice big kiss. Air high five, and we will see you next time. Bye. Bye.